Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today you find us on a river which is really quite high. Um, we came down, there was been loads of floods. We came down and we did a give it a go, but it was just, it was raging through. So it was pretty much unfishable. We tried, we're back again. As you can see behind me, it's still about a meter up. Um, it's pushing through pretty well, but we've, we can find the slacks, creases. It's looking, to be honest, it's looking really juicy for some fish. So, fingers crossed, maybe we can find some barbel or chub. Who knows? Let's crack on. Okay, guys, so, because it's pushing through, we've got an ounce and a quarter, I think that is, little kind of gripper lead kind of thing. And uh, we've got our favorite boily wrapped in paste with a few to throw out now. We're gonna aim over there. First cast, I think it might be pushing through a little bit too hard though. Without going up in the tree. Here we go, fingers crossed. I think it's just bumping straight down the river. It has, it's just gone left. Left, it's just gone right. Well, we'll give it a go. If not, we'll try and find some better slacks. Ducks try, yeah, a <laughs> lot easier to do that, mate. Try and swim against it, my word. As you can see, there's a lot of water coming through. We're about a meter up. I was looking on River Levels website, and we're about a meter up. So it's pretty, it's pushing through. We're in our favorite swim at the moment. But, uh, there seems to be, the, because of the huge floods recently, it's, it's really changed the face of the river. So we've really got to learn it again, find out where all the new snags are. Just learning it again. Well, we gave the first swim half an hour, but it was really pushing through. Um, found some snags, luckily we got out of them, so we've moved, we're in another swim. Here it is. See if there's any fish in it. Well, we're getting this swim an hour. Nothing, not a touch, not an niente, <laughs> nothing. So we move again. Well, we're in another swim now, and there's a slack over on the back there, so we're just fishing on the edge of it. Gonna give it 10 minutes in there, and we're gonna give it 10 minutes down here, then we'll move on. We keep trying. The rod tip's nodding like it does when you're beach fishing and you've got weed all over your line. <laughs> but there's not a lot of detritus going down or flotsam and jetsam going down the river it seems to be pretty clear which is a really good thing but the, the whole river has changed from when I last fished it that it's, everything's moved everything so we've got to learn it all over again until there's another flood well guys we've tried multiple swims now with no joy not a touch so we're in a swim that we know holds fish. Fingers crossed we've come here to save the blank. Oh guys, we've actually had a bite. Oh my god. And we're into a fish. And it feels quite nice. It's in the flood water. It's in the middle of the river. what we've got. We're into a 
fish is right beneath us at the moment. I haven't seen it yet. Might be a bream. Might be a carp. Heaven forbid if it's a barbell. That would be awesome. At least it's not in that main current. It's kind of staying deep under our feet. Almost pulling. few times let's get him back probably about five pounds oh yes guys finally we've got something a lot of trying finally we got something not a blank phew <laughs> and we've only got about 20 minutes half an hour left you never know we might get another one if i get it i'll put it on the end of the film if not as always thank you very much for watching it's really appreciated i really appreciate your support helping our little channel grow thank you so much um 
Yeah, if we get one, I'll put it on. If not, we'll see you in the next one. See you later.